Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a new video and a new series. We're going to be actually cutting on the plasma table. I'm going to start showing you pieces that I make and showing you how I make them. Time or image or picture will be right, right here. So, we're going to go ahead and get into that. I'm going to show you a little side shot of me uh, getting it designed on the computer. Well, actually I already had the design. It was two different pieces, I just added them together. So I'm going to show you how I threw that together in sheet cam. We're going to load it up on the plasma table, throw our sheet of steel on there, and get cutting. So first things first, um, I'm going to minimize my little head, and we're going to jump in. So I use sheet cam. So I already had both of these templates. It was the United States with the U.S. flag cutout. I just got a U.S. flag outline, took the United States, put it behind it, and then uh, outlined it and actually morphed them together through paint.net. Um, that's what I use for a lot of my graphical design. And then I import it into Inkscape uh, at that point. But uh, we'll do another in-depth video on that later. So I go ahead and do my inside off offsets, my outside offsets, figuring out my layers. And uh, we go ahead and uh, export that. And uh, I ended up doing the United States by itself and then doing the AR by itself because I got a lot of spare stock on the side. So that way we can use up some of that. So I stopped using my full sheets. Kind of cups down on waste and that way I can use all the sheet steel I buy. After that we go ahead and uh, I use a easy sync software because I throw everything on my NAS. Um, it's all backed up on my computer though so I have two locations where everything's saved. So that way no matter what I never lose my data. And then I go onto the plasma tail and just pull that up through the network. But uh, let's get into a sweet time lapse of uh, grabbing some steel. My table is capable of jogging around 1200 inches a minute. Do I jog it at 1200 inches a minute? No, because that would be ludicrous and it would tear itself apart over time. So I jog at 600 inches a minute. Uh, when I cut 16 gauge steel, I'm using a Hypertherm Power Max 45 fine cut consumables. I run it at 40 amps and 150 inches a minute. It does slow down around corners. It does slow around uh, on its take in and take out. I do a 0.02 or 20 thousandths of a uh, take in and take out. Um, it does do a really nice cut. Sometimes you have to disable it if your lettering is too small. So sometimes I have to take that down to 10 thou. Um, but other than that, it cuts beautifully. Fine cut consumables, low heat. And I'm also cutting on a water table that I've designed. So uh, that way the steel doesn't get too hot when I'm cutting it. But so now you have a basic representation. When I'm cutting uh, eighth inch steel, uh, if I want to use fine cuts, I'm knocking down to about 180 to 100 inches a minute, depending on uh, if the steel's rustier. The rustier the steel, I slow it down a couple, but uh, normally I can rock that out about 100. If I throw in my regular cut consumables, I can still stay at 150 amps at 45. 150 inches a minute and 45 amps. Alrighty guys, well, oh geez, that gives a horrible glare in my eyes. Alrighty guys, that is it. Um, I will be sending these off for paint because I do not paint in here. I actually have somebody that I have paint for me and that does a beautiful job. Um, so uh, I'm going to show a couple photos at the end of this video of what it looks like painted. And it turns out awesome. If you want to buy one, I do sell them. My uh, Etsy store link is down below. And I also have a couple other styles. I got just the flag. I got one that has, it's probably reversed to you, an AR cutout. Uh, that's another one I cut. 
Um, and I have a lot of other pieces. And it's all. Got my nice rack, got my Spidey pool down there. That's a custom one for myself for the man cave. Um, but if you guys have any comments, questions, or suggestions, let me know down below. Till next time when I do a, another uh, project, I am going to do more videos on it so you guys can see some custom signs. Um, and if you have any uh, orders you want to place for me, go ahead and message me. But that is it. See you in the next one.